Here to see as the future can be seen, felt and touched. A show for all the senses. Last year, as you know, we were the first premium car maker to give the keynote speech here. This underscores what an active and progressive role Audi plays in shaping this future. That's what our brand claim, Vorsprung durch Technik, is all about. And connectivity is a central part of our innovation strategy. And we at Audi walk the talk, showing great pioneering spirit in driving forward the networking of the car with its environment. Not only do our models use real-time navigation to find a way in busy downtown traffic, they also feature ultra-quick broadband technology which accelerates them along the data highway. This is evident in every single one of our exhibits here at the CES. You will now find in detail about our technology, technology roadmap for connectivity from Michael Dick, who is the biggest member of the board of Audi AG and head of technical development. Mike, stage is here. Thank you, Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our press conference here in Las Vegas. I'm pleased to be here at CCES. The show is an inspiration to me, and it is unbelievable what here is going on. The CES clearly sets the pace for digital networking. After all, the pioneers of advanced computer technology and the internet are here in the United States. Americans like to try new things and they love the digital world. <coughs> Let me just name a few key words. Always online, ever shorter development, development, development times, simplicity, usability and performance. How this stands for progressive luxury. Our new aim is to adopt the benchmarks of consumer electronics and our cars by the means of Audi Connect. Audi Connect is a key part of our innovation strategy. This strategy provides our answers to the main challenges of our times and to the weaknesses of our customers. Climate change, limited resources, more and more people living in mega cities, the digitalization of society, this all comes down to one thing, the redefinition of automobile. Our customers are premium customers and they are quite right to demand the perfect symbiosis of ecology and individual mobility. Our innovation strategy is focused on five key areas of action. Our design, the automobile will always inspire great emotions People want to enjoy its beauty. Audi e-tron. This is our name for the electrification of the drivetrain from hybrids to purely electric cars. Audi Ultra. Our use. We use lightweight construction to greatly increase the performance and efficiency of our automobiles. Audi Mobility. This focuses on services centered on individual mobility. And of course, Audi Connect. Our cars will be networking with the environment. Ladies and gentlemen, our goal is clear. We are making individual mobility efficient, safe, efficient, safe, comfortable and fit for the future. The networking of the automobile plays a key role in this. We showed just how seriously we take this at last year's CES. Here's a quick look back.
of today and tomorrow. The bracket for these solutions is Audi Connect, the intelligent network, network between the car, the driver, the internet, the infrastructure and other cars. We have defined seven fields of technologies around Audi Connect. Quite some of the innovations we present today uh, will be available on the road pretty soon. Ricky Hoodie will explain to you the variety of new ideas of connected mobility. And he is the man who is in charge of the coordination of all the projects of Audi Connect. Ricky, the stage is yours, please. Thank you, Mike. This CES is a special moment for us. We have multiple premiers and really more people to talk about electronics than at any other car show. I'm looking forward to your questions. What does Audi Connect stand for? It's a seamless networking of the car with the surroundings. You can also say in the last 10 years, in the last decade, we fully networked the car in the, in, uh, internally. The complete interior now is networked in every car from small to big. This job has successfully been finished. In this decade, we fully network the car seamlessly with the surroundings. And I will show you now some exciting details about that technology. If you are talking about the seamless networking of the car with the surroundings, the data link obviously plays a major role. Therefore, Audi is introducing the high-speed mobile communication standard LTE into its vehicles. We were the first premium manufacturer to introduce the 3G uh, UMTS as a factory installed option into our vehicles. And the LTE permits much higher data rates. It's 11 times faster than UMTS. It allows data streams uh, into the car 100 megabit per second and this enables a fantastic functionality for all passengers in 2011 we already did a lot of demos in, in our cars for example in the mobile world congress in barcelona and as a premier a, a prototype a few days uh, ago here in las vegas as we were the first who brought a 3G UMTS into our, our car. It's our aim to bring all of the 4G, the LTN, uh, LTE network first into our cars. <coughs> a further innovation in the area of connectivity is a new Audi phone box. It connects any type of cell phone perfectly to the vehicle and you don't need any longer a special connector. The planar antenna on the bottom of this phone box is the heart of the system. And via near-field communi uh, communication from cell phone to this antenna, the signal is transmitted via an amplifier to the outside antenna. And the benefit is for the driver you get a much better performance than just using the internal antenna. For example, typically two or three bars more than without this Audi phone box. A look into the another very exciting field of technology is the topic of 3D graphics. <coughs> a look into the interior of our brand new Audi A3 shows a further world first innovation highlight. It's a new MMI display. It offers brilliant 3D graphics, pin sharp images on an ultra thin display in the smartphone mode. In conjunction with the MIB, the Modular Infotainment Baukasten, and the NVIDIA Tebra processor architecture, more on this later on, Audi can compute 3D graphics in real time and present them on the display. Ladies and gentlemen, a new chapter, really a new chapter, is opened in photorealistic and intuitive display in the, the car. And this enables us to make a perfect combination of very attractive and intuitive HMI design. Once a car is seamlessly linked with its environment, it's obvious that there is 
a demand to have highly attractive online services perfectly integrated into our cars. Audi is the only manufacturer to offer the seamless integration of Google Earth and Google Street View online with high-speed data transmission for its vehicles. That means that in comparison with some other systems which have no Google Earth map below 2 kilometers of map resolution, our system provides a photorealistic view down to 30 meters. The positive aspect for the driver is that in combination with an overlay of the navigation roads and the photorealistic scenery, it is much more easier to navigate the car. And that's the same with the Google Street View uh, implementation in our cars. It enables the customers uh, to see what the destination looks like even before setting off the journey. Another brand new online service which we rolled out in most of the European countries is the Audi Online Traffic Information. It works faster and smaller than TMC and TMC Pro because it updates every three minutes the traffic situation and it has a very, very intuitive HMI. Free routes are green, dense or slow moving traffic are yellow and congestion is red. Also cities and major roads are included and by the way, this is a good example how we already use crowd intelligence today in our cars. Ladies and gentlemen, a real highlight in showing how easy it is to operate a car by voice control is our Google voice activated PY search. And Audi is still the only manufacturer to offer this customer a Google voice PY search facility in which is available online. Look on the movie how easy it is to operate. Online destinations. Online destinations. Please enter the search area. In vicinity of destination. In vicinity of destination, please enter the search term. Fresh Belgian chocolates. The query is being started. Please enter the line. Line one. Lima Meters chocolates has been accepted. Please use the MMI control console to operate this function. This is a good example how we even use today cloud computing intelligence inside our cars. Because the information is not in, stored in the car, it comes from the Google server standing in Mountain View and we have always up-to-date information and we use the intelligence of the cloud computing. You see, that was a good example how serious we take the job to provide a perfect user interface to the driver. Even today, Audi has the most intuitive user interface in its vehicles. And we are continuously working to make good things even better. In 2009, we introduced the intuitive touchpad in, uh, into our cars and now we have a world premiere integrated in the new uh, Audi A3 it is integrated in the rotary push button uh, and we bring this down to the compact class. It's a very natural way to input characters and numbers just by handwriting uh, it on the touchpad and the driver's eyes stay perfectly on the road. You see that we at Audi continuously forges ahead with the research and development into enhancing the operating and display concepts in our vehicles. Two examples are head up and gesture control. In future, it will be possible to display information for either the driver or front passenger only or for both. A simple and intuitive gesture control allows the driver and front passenger to control the content. The solution we are presenting at our exhibition booth picks up on this approach. One view from the contact analog head-up display for the driver, a head-up for the front passenger and a projection in the center for both. Together with a simple to use gesture control, 
This system points the way to the future of HMI design in automotive technology. I'm sure you have now enough appetite to try.